What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and today we are going to be talking about weapon variants and salvage in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. And oh man, I can already see the dislikes rolling in right now. I said the V word, variants, does not carry a very good reputation when it comes to Call of Duty, at least over the past couple of years. But uh, don't worry guys, it looks like we're taking a step in the right direction, at least as of what we know right now. So um, there are four different levels of rarity when it comes to weapon variants. There's common, rare, legendary, and epic and obviously those sound pretty familiar now um, these variants have different attributes that at least as of right now appear to only affect the weapons in very minor ways some examples of these would be slightly increased ammo low health enemies are highlighted when you see them on their screen when they're near death um, the ability to be able to get the tactical nuke we talked about that in another video today a 10% score boost per kill slightly faster reloads a 10% damage boost for crotch shots yes I'm serious I'm not even kidding there. Um, little things like that. Now, obviously, some are better than others. Some of the epic, which is the rarest type of variant, are a little bit better. There's stuff where you get high caliber, you can get steady aim, your melee attack becomes a one-hit kill because you have a bayonet on the end of your gun. Um, there's one that takes a burst fire gun to a full auto gun with a little bit less recoil and that sort of thing. And uh, that's kind of what happens there. Now, we're not sure how these are attained. We don't know if it's 100% randomized or how it works. But uh, each of these variants has some sort of attribute that affects the weapon in some way. Now, how do you get variants is the question. Well, number one is they can be crafted. So this is a quote from Joe Sika at the press briefing today. He said, using salvage, players can craft prototype weapons. So uh, there is a way to earn this salvage stuff. We're not sure what it is. It's some sort of currency. It's probably earned by playing and completing challenges and that sort of thing. And you can use that salvage to essentially upgrade your weapons and craft them into rare variants, which is pretty cool. Now, are there going to be other ways to earn these weapons? Let's not be stupid here. There's a very, very good chance that supply drops are going to be coming back this year. They've made tons and tons of money, and never in a million years would I see Activision taking supply drops out of Call of Duty after they've been so insanely successful. They're here to stay. There's nothing we can do about that. But just because supply drops are in the game doesn't mean it's inherently bad. There are other games out there like CSGO or Overwatch or Dota or, you know, all kinds of games that have done it right where the stuff that you earn out of these RNG, supply drop, box opening type things don't affect the gameplay in large ways. A lot of times it's just strictly cosmetic stuff or it's very minor changes that aren't going to give one person a big advantage over another person because they paid more money. So hopefully that's the direction that Call of Duty takes this year instead of having stuff like the Speakeasy and Obsidian Seed in Advanced Warfare or even some of the slightly better than normal weapons that were available in Black Ops 3 like the FFAR or the Executioner and stuff like that. So there are two ways they could go about doing this the right way. Number one is it salvage is kind of a fair trade-off. It's not too grindy. Like, crypto keys are pretty slow to earn in Black Ops 3. If you were only doing crypto keys to unlock supply drops to get the new DLC weapons, you'd probably only get a couple weapons over the course of playing the game. It's very unlikely you'd get all of those really good weapons. So if it's a little bit more fair and that's a little bit better option to be able to do it, where you can still pay if you want to increase that process, but it's attainable if you don't want to pay, that's fantastic. The other thing is, is we don't want it to be too big of a difference. So if it doesn't affect the gameplay that much, I mean, 10% extra damage for crotch shots, that's not going to really affect the gameplay that much. So I'll take something like that over what we've seen in the past. So we'll have to wait and see what happens, but that's what we know about so far. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. We've got more Infinite Warfare videos coming out today. Make sure you guys keep checking back. Peace out.